Microsoft has officially announced GameStack Live 2021. This two-day event highlights the suite of impressive tools Microsoft offers game developers working on titles for Xbox or PC. If you're eager to get more details on Xbox Velocity Architecture, ray tracing, and much more, there's going to be tons of exciting new information. This is Miles with Windows Central Gaming, and here's everything you can expect from GameStack Live 2021. Microsoft GameStack Live kicks off at 8 a.m. Pacific time on April 20th and continues through April 21st, 2021. A huge assortment of conferences that focus on deep dives and technical content across six dedicated tracks will be available to remote participants. While there's a chance for a few thrilling surprises during the event, we currently have a pretty good understanding of the topics and technologies that will be discussed. The six categories featured for this event are graphics, systems and tools, production and publishing, accessibility and inclusion, audio, and multiplayer. In this video, we'll be breaking down the most interesting talking points from each of these categories and what they mean for the games we'll be playing on Xbox this generation. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to support us even further, go ahead and like and share this video. Now, let's get back to what you can expect from GameStack Live 2021. Let's start with the topic that many folks consider to be the defining factor of a new generation, graphics. Microsoft made some big promises about its game development kit ahead of the launch of the Xbox Series X and S, and what this means for the graphical quality of future games. But so far, we haven't really seen these advancements in action. GameStack Live should give players and developers a better idea of how these tools can be leveraged. Ray tracing has been one of the biggest tech buzzwords of the last year, and despite the promises of it redefining lighting and gaming, we've only seen a handful of titles utilize the technology, especially on console. Microsoft will be presenting a demo showcasing Minecraft with real-time ray tracing. This should be a much deeper dive than the teaser trailers we've seen previously. Another critical feature aimed at delivering increased performance while maintaining graphical fidelity is Variable Rate Shading, or VRS. At GameStack Live 2021, there will be a conference showcasing the benefits of VRS in Gears 5 and Gears Tactics. The team is looking to show developers how their implementation of VRS can reduce the memory bandwidth of certain shadow details without any noticeable dip in graphical quality. This certainly opens up serious possibilities for drastically improved game performance without the need to sacrifice visuals. Another piece of technology Xbox has been heavily marketing alongside the Xbox Series X and S is Xbox Velocity Architecture. On paper, this should drastically reduce load times in games and in some cases, completely eliminate them. But as it stands, we haven't seen a single title support this feature. Thankfully, a conference in the Systems and Tools category will show us a real-world example of how developers can reimagine their games and significantly reduce load times by combining a super-fast SSD, hardware decompression, and the new direct storage functionality. Microsoft will also host a conference explaining how developers can use PIX to easily tune performance and debug games running on DirectX 12. As we've seen with many recent releases, Developers are still working out the kinks for DirectX 12, so hopefully this segment lends itself to some interesting insights for getting games looking and running better with the latest version of DirectX. While maybe not the most exciting category for the average industry enthusiast, production and publishing is very important for teams looking to make money on the Xbox platform. This track will host a variety of conferences focused on how developers and publishers can use services like Xbox Game Streaming and the Xbox Insider program to maximize engagement and potential revenue on Microsoft platforms. There will definitely be some interesting business-centric details revealed during these panels. Accessibility and inclusion have been critical focuses for Microsoft the past few years. So it's not surprising to see these topics get their own suite of conferences during GameStack Live. Members of different Xbox Game Studios teams 
We'll be explaining how building inclusive cultures has led to successful product launches. There will also be a deep dive into the production practices Don't Nod used during the creation of Tell Me Why. With a total of six talks covering accessibility and inclusion, it's clear Microsoft wants these practices to not only be a part of their culture, but a part of broader gaming culture as well. Another core component of GameStack Live will be audio and how developers can use new tools to create more immersive, dynamic, and engaging sound in their games. We'll see three separate conferences detailing the power and versatility of Microsoft 3D Spatial Sound and Project Acoustics. With tons of compelling, audio-focused examples of this tech in action, this will be a treat for audiophiles interested in getting a glimpse into the future of sound in game design. We can also expect discussions on Dolby Atmos, DTSX, and how the Xbox Series X and S hardware audio processors allow for the possibility of sound effects similar to ray trace reflections. One of the biggest contributing factors to Microsoft's early success with Xbox was the company's focus on online multiplayer. While Xbox Live seemed a bit radical for its time, it quickly became the de facto online gaming service for console in later years. It seems that Microsoft will reiterate its commitments to online gaming with a collection of multiplayer-centric panels during GameStack Live 2021. Many of these conversations will revolve around the simplicity of creating and hosting game servers with PlayFab and Azure. Microsoft will demonstrate how Mojang transitioned from their custom Minecraft servers to Azure with limited impact to players. In addition to the benefits of Azure, we'll hear how developers can code games to fully take advantage of cloud streaming with limited input latency. This should hopefully encourage more developers to offer options for online multiplayer within their games and give players more opportunities to play the games they love with friends. What are your thoughts on the lineup for GameStack Live 2021? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. For more Xbox and PC content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.